Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to ShortSellPowerHour.com. My name's Fred Weaver. I'm Kevin Kaufman. We're Arizona's premier or funniest short sale. Funniest team. short sale. You may notice we're actually wearing funniest, the exact same clothes that we wore yesterday. Funniest looking, in fact. Yes, absolutely. Funniest yeah. smelling, funniest looking, funniest sounding. Yeah. Um, whatever you want to say. Yeah. I'm okay with all of so, it. So I've got a tip today, Kevin, that okay. we're going to talk about. Is it in regards to short sales? It is. Okay. Uh, because a lot of our viewers may not know that you and I are actually um, back in the office after a three-week vacation. That's what this is. It's our but, office. But we're actually like back in the trenches big time this week. Yeah, as my buddy Brian Gubernick would say, in the trenches. In the trenches. Now, we're always You're in the proud trenches, of me, Gubernick? but we have actually, uh, because of the volume and some things that are happening on our team, we've taken a lot of short sales on and that we're personally negotiating. Yes. And what I've realized, Kevin, just in a matter of a day or two How here, much fun this is? Well, of course it's fun. I realize that. Because if you're not having fun, what are you doing? Yeah. But what I realize is that as you do a short sale volume, meaning you're doing business, now whether that volume looks like three files, five, ten, or a hundred files, okay, it's very important that when you leave a file for the day, and what I mean by leave a file is like you stop done the, working, you on, stop it working on that one, that you set yourself up for success the next time you go into that file. Well, let me see, Fred. How might you do that? Well, I mean, what I mean by that is... I mean, I have some thoughts on it. Well, but. of course you do. But what I mean is that I leave a file and might I make myself some notes so that next time I get in it, I don't have to like spend five minutes uh, diving into it, figuring out where I was, but rather I make some notes as to what my next move should be. Right. So, so not, not only are you noting what just happened, what, what I you just, just worked on, but hey, but what's coming? Here's next. what I'm gonna do next. I'm yeah. going to do A, B, and C, yep. and I need to follow up on getting this form signed. Get it back to this negotiation. What a concept. No, it's a great concept, and it seems small and silly, but for those of you out there that are doing volume, I'd love to hear your response to this because ah, it's not I, silly would, at all. I would hope that you've recognized this as necessary. If you haven't, then hopefully this episode does something for you. But what I've noticed is that when I work a lot of files, and because we've got almost you know, 80, 100 listings, there's no way I can possibly remember every single one of them. No. So when I leave a file, even though I'm not responsible for all 80 or 100, meaning I'm not working every single one of them, but you even if I leave 15 or 20, I've got to remind myself, where, what did I do on that file last time, and what am I going to do what? next time? Yeah. So when I jump in it, I've either got a status note, or because we work in sure clothes and we have all our tasks there, I've got a task that says, this is the next thing I need to do. Right. And I'm reminding myself, oh yeah, that's what you did last time, follow up on that email. And I think what happens is a lot of times agents and people out there that are negotiating, they may touch a file two or three times in a given week, but it doesn't get the quality touch that it could right. had they set their file up for success moving forward. Well, of course. You got anything else? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, just come in and look at a file like you would anything else. Yeah. Like, hey, what did I do? What happens now? Yeah. How, how did that go? What's next? That's it, you guys. You've got to be able to do that because if you're going into every file going, what just happened? What's my move now? You're already behind. You're costing Correct. yourself time. And in a process that even when you and I are negotiating short sales, we're saying 60 to 90 days. Yes. It, if you're not coming into every file knowing what to do, you're just costing yourself days and days and days. Well, and what I do by this, by doing this, Kevin, is one time a week I could spend up to an hour in one particular file. It's possible Easy. I could spend an hour easily. But I could also touch that file three to four more times in the same week. So that same file yes. gets touched four or five times. One but week. those other touches are follow-up emails, follow-up calls, you checking to see if I got the documentation back that I was right. requesting. But I took the time one time to work the file really heavy in a given week. Mm -hmm. And then I set myself up, if you will, little um, progress marks that I'm sure, going for. Sure throughout the rest of the week. And it, it now has broken this big old process well, down into these smaller, more manageable pieces. That's the importance of even having a workflow or a task, a task order to work in, in in addition to that. So, Absolutely. Yeah, not only do you, you know need what? to know like, hey, what did I just do? What do I need to do now? What happens next? But if you don't even know what your, what your perfect file looks like, if you will, or what your template for working a file is, yeah. Like how, how can you be successful? You and can't do volume. That on way. that note, Kevin, we rarely do this, but on Let's that note, today. if you're watching this episode and you don't have a workflow, or maybe your workflow is not as refined as, say, people that have been doing this in the trenches hundreds. for several years and closed hundreds and hundreds of short sales, consider purchasing our Crush It package. In fact, 
Don't consider it, just purchase just it. it. If you're doing a lot of short sales and you don't have a workflow and you're watching these videos and you get benefit from what we're saying, trust us that we're Imagine not selling you. Imagine the benefit anything. you'd get from something yeah. that we actually charge you for. We're not gonna sell you crap, okay? We put a pretty hefty price tag of 900 and some odd dollars on our Crush It package, but it's because it has thousands of dollars of value for people out there. Oh, seriously, it's $946.10 actually. Um, and if you don't make that back in, you know, like the first deal we save you, then, well, forget it, I don't have to say it. So, yeah. I mean, the point is, you guys, it's humongous value. It's everything that we've yep. done out of our heads, from our files to our process, everything that we do from the way we run our business, all into a simple forms for you to use and be able to pl basically plug and go in your business. It's that easy. So, Absolutely. Oh, one more announcement. The Lakers parade went off really well the other day? I have no idea. Um, but I do know this. On Tuesday, we're going to be in Roseville, California, teaching Crush It Short Sale. That's like uh, six days away. What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. Wednesday, actually, Kevin. whatever. Yeah. It's hard to tell when we pre record these things. Well, today's actually Monday, but That's they'll be saying. watching this on Wednesday. So, Roseville, California, next Tuesday, if you're in Just the area. Just outside of Sacramento. Sacramento, not anywhere. Not that far from the Bay Area. Anywhere in NorCal. A short there, drive from Oregon. Come visit us. I promise it's worth your time. Guaranteed. I like that's it. Let's wrap I'll it let up, you wrap it up. On three. One, One two, three. two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it. It's crushed.